over and visit with me over on Fritz Rochester's Heating and Air's YouTube channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master right here in Louisville, Kentucky, guys. And it's another beautiful day. And uh, we've just got checking cleans coming in left and right. And I'm heading out on another one. And we're going to take that wicked new uh, eye connect and put on this system and see what we got. All right, guys, we'll get her cleaned up, get our electrical measurements, and test her out. All right, guys, we'll holler at y'all in just a bit. All right, guys, we're back here on this old Goodman here, and uh, we've done went ahead and uh, cleaned up the Goodman out back. And uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to show y'all how I'm going to get my EER rating. And uh, what we're going to ba basically be doing is getting our voltage and our amp drop. And uh, guys, this is an air handler. A furnace is uh, normally 110. Air handlers are going to be uh, 240. So we're going to be looking for pro about a, approximately 120 volts on each leg. And we want to get our amp draw. Now the key thing about getting this amp draw, guys, is you want to do it with the door on. With the door on or it's not going to give you the, the correct amp draw. Okay, guys? So if you, like I'm saying, if you were to do an amp draw with the door off, the, the system normally doesn't have the door off. It has the door on, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But all right, guys, let me get this apart, and we're going to get right back with you. It wasn't really fitting in there real, real well. It wasn't straddling the whole thing. But uh, looks like she's a little bit funky up in there. I don't know if you can really make it out. But I do have some uh, coil spray. I'm going to spray on it real quick, kind of clean it up just a little bit. All right, guys. All right, guys. I found it to be a little funky, so I'm just going to take some of this coal spray and put on it. Okay, guys. We got the door back on our Goodman. We're testing so we can get our EER. We're trying to get our uh, our voltage measurement and our amp draw. Okay, guys. And it looks like I'm running at uh, 1.00 on my amps and 124 volts on my voltage. All right, guys. Let me switch over to the other side. Guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. That it does make a big difference not having that door on okay all right guys let me uh let me switch out here and get to the other side okay guys i got the other side hooked up and it's pretty close so what we're actually going to do is go out and get our outdoor measurements but like i said key is to keep that door on there thanks so much all right guys all right guys let's go ahead and get our whole drill here Alright guys, I'm ready to get my probes in. Like I said before, you need to make sure where the airflow is. The sensor is on the back side of this. This is a, is a supply. So the air is flowing this way. Now, for the return itself, you're going to want to uh, flip it over. There's your sensor. Airflow is coming down. Coming down. Screws rounded. Yeah, <laughs> Alright guys, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm replacing this whip here. It didn't have a ground in it. Alright guys, we got our bolts and our amps from our uh, Goodman uh, air handler down there. And uh, like I was saying, you need to do that with the door on. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get our bolts and our amps on our two and a half ton Goodman out here. And what I did, guys, is uh, I noticed uh, last time I was out here, um, it didn't have a ground running to it. And my customer wanted me actually uh, to rewire it. And now we have a, a real ground going to the unit here. All right, guys, what I've done is I've got my, my new fill piece uh, SC660 hooked around my hot wire here. And now we're going to go from L1 to L2 and, and get our voltage here. It looks like we're running at 13.27 amps. 13.27 amps. All right, guys. 
Okay, we're running at 123 volts. 123 volts. All right, guys, let's go to the other side. And we're running at 120, 124 volts. 124 volts. Let's go ahead and try the other side one more time. 123. Okay, guys. 13.27 and 123 on one side, 124 on the other. All right, guys. We've got our electrical measurements. We've got the iConnect connected. we got our probes on out here and indoors. All right, guys. The green lights are indicating we are a go for the goodness. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get a quick profile on this. This is a 30. It's a two and a half ton system, R22 fixed. I'm pretty sure we got one of those in here. And there it is. All right, guys, we got our hash marks going there. And right now we're uh, waiting to be stabilized here. But while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my measurements in. Go ahead and take out the wet bulb. Got him another filter here, real quick. Get rid of this bad beast. And we got a 18 by 24. Make sure it's air flowing. Sorry through. about that, guys. It's kind of tight. All right, let's get this puppy in there. All right, guys. I think we're looking pretty daggone good here for this old Goodman. And it uh, looks like we're running at uh, 2.5 degrees superheat. Target is 5. We're running, this is a uh, 30, uh, 30,000 BTU unit, uh, two and a half ton. And I'm very impressed with this, guys. I'm actually kind of tripping out on this. Uh, we're running at 2.23, uh, 26,804 BTUs. The split is 20. And uh, this is what's freaking me out. I would have never thought that in the entire world. Once I, I love this, guys. Once you put in your measurements, it tells you what the real deal is with this thing. And uh, so we're running at like, 8, 8 EER, 7.9 8 EER. Looks like our low pressure is at 63. Suction line temperature is at 37. Uh, outdoor ambient is 90. It's kind of warm here today. Uh, Superheat is 2.3. Our high pressure is 261. Our liquid line temperature is 117. Our subcooling is 2.9. Our return air dry bulb is 67.8. Our relative humidity is 50%. Our supply air dry bulb is 47.5. Our supply air relative humidity is 87.2. Looks like our return air dry bulb. Our wet bulb is 56.5. Our return air wet bulb 56.5. 
and their supplier wet bulb is 45.7. Guys, I'm not really gonna go monkeying with this charge either. I don't want uh, I don't want my saturation temperature dipping very much below that. So all in all, I think we're looking pretty good, daggone good here. Very impressed with this stuff, guys. Very impressed with it. Now, as for the airflow, he's only got like three returns in here. But uh, you know, once we go to updating, I think we're gonna we're gonna might cut in another return for him. But like I said, very impressed with this tool. I love it. So basically, what we did today was uh, we uh, fixed his uh, his uh, we got the ground out of the disconnect box and took it back to the unit. The unit didn't have a ground in it, and we cleaned up the coil a little bit down there, you know, as best as we could. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my report on this thing. Now right here would be where you enter in all the job information and everything. We go to testing and performance. I want to go ahead and capture measurements out. And of course my battery is going to die. Hope it hangs on there, guys. Bear with me. Very impressed. and email it to myself. All right, guys, I think that's about it. Let me get cleaned up here. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> what a good boy. You need to have a play date with Sarge. We want to remember to always remove our prongs before we're done. And to cap it. Cap your holes. Alright guys, we're wrapping up here. Got my new eye manifold driven by iConnect bag mounted. All right, we'll see y'all in the next one. I got another one coming up here shortly. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye. That's what it's all about, guys. After work, baby.